welcome uh, everyone watching this video of course as seen on on our presentation here our main topic of this video today is learning trading like uh, driving now guys let's jump quickly into this question now how hard is forex trading when you are inexperienced should i even try of course this is a question that everybody asks when he's not ready for trading now it shows the lack or clear view about trading in the forex market now my answer to this is with forex it's a very uh, volatile market and because many people are trying to get involved in this huge financial market and so it becomes very risky but so to get started, of course, you need fundamental and, of course, the technical skills before you jump in. And this is part of the knowledge that you need before you start trading. But of course, guys, if you really want to reach your trading goal, so to say, you must plan your success. Very important. There's more to just risk management, money management, and so forth. I'm not going to ever say it's easy. Okay. Of course, it's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it and be successful. And unfortunately, altogether, life is hard and it will only pay it to those who are willing to fight without giving up. You just need to fight, fight, and fight. And every time you fail, you're close to success with just anything. Now, with this video, again, I wanted to talk more on learning how to trade. It's like anything in life. It takes practice. There are a number of things you need to do before you actually start trading with real money, okay? If you are serious about making more of it. First, you have to find yourself a trading method and then come up with, of course, a money management plan to go with. Then you need to learn the trading system like the back of your hand and learn to recognize the steps or rather the best steps. Then you back test the system, demo test, and only after that process is complete, you can start trading live with real funds okay now the other day i read on an article on of course our main topic learning to trade is like learning how to drive that might sound dull so to say but it's not when you consider just how critical good trading habits are and how much you have a stake when you trade guys money is a very serious business when you climb behind the wheel of a vehicle you are taking your life into your hands same with trading when you start trading you are taking your financial life in your hands now we'll consider roughly four ways of course in which learning how to trade is like learning how to drive now there's a huge difference between theory and practice okay now let's talk more on this remember when you went to your first driver driver's education or driving school so to say those were classroom lectures you learned about the parts of a car the steering wheel of course the clutch and the brakes and of course how the car operates now you probably did not learn on how an engine works but the basic mechanical operation of the car was explained to you now would you go straight out of that classroom and into a car and then jump in start the ignition and head out into a major highway of course not you would sit down in the car and experiment with the controls without even turning the ignition. Okay, even when you did activate the ignition, ignition you would, would only do so in a parking lot and practice until you felt you are ready to proceed. Now, let's look at testing is like learning in a parking lot. Of course, just as you would practice in a controlled stable environment, before you headed out on the public roadways in your car, you should do the same when you learn Forex trading. Consider your parking lot to be your back testing and demo testing. Once you have learned everything, you can, once you have learned everything, okay, you can go about the car without turning it on. You will then learn the basics of starting the car, turning it off, backing up, turning, through corners and hitting the brakes in empty in an empty lot now this is a low risk situation okay testing forex 
trading without going live is even better than a low risk situation. In fact, it is a no risk situation. These forex or trading brokers let you demo test before going live. They give you what you call demo accounts with virtual funds. Now let's look at before you head out in zero traffic, you try the basic routes. Of course, when you learn a trading system that you need or that you use for trading, you will usually have a number of choices available to you regarding, of course, the, tra the, the assets, which are the forex, the foreign currencies, the buy and sell options, and even how you just uh, trade your setup. Now, when you first uh, start driving on public roads, did you head straight for a crowded highway during rush hour or did you stick to a quieter neighborhood? Uh, neighborhood roads. Now, what are quiet neighborhood roads in our trading scenario? Of course, <coughs> well, for example, you could trade assets that behave in a reasonable or rather normal fashion, or in other words, you could avoid total unclear currency pairs and other string assets that do not conform to a normal price movement. You could also stick with longer time frames in the beginning and make sure your trades are based on higher time frames charts, which are more reliable and less volatile. You can choose to play setups in locations where they are most reliable and avoid locations where they might work, but which are harder to play correctly. Now, lastly, I want us to look at uh, driving requires adaptability. Now, of course, <coughs> for every beginner especially, driving can bring many unexpected hazards and require ongoing learning. After you get, a bet after you get better driving, of course, and have been on the roads for longer, you will probably be doing a lot less of that. But if you move to a new location or to drive somewhere unfamiliar, Unexpected events on the road also call for swift changes. You have to be able to deal with sudden obstacles, of course, like other cars slamming on their brakes, cars suddenly pulling out in front of you, and other hazards. Now, if you are on, you now if you are fast on your feet, calm and flexible, sooner or later, you will get into an, an, an accident. If you are not, sorry, if you are not fast on your feet, if you are not calm, if you are not flexible sooner or later you'll get into an accident. Now, same thing, trading likewise requires that you stay updatable to changing circumstances. <coughs> Just as the roads can change, presenting you with, a new with new challenges, same with the market. Conditions can change, transforming the trading environment and the way you interact with price. Just as you stick with your fundamentals in order to drive. You will stick with your trading method, but in the same way, you have to be ready to make immediate changes to deal with unexpected circumstances on the road in order to avoid disaster. You need to do the same from time to time while trading. <coughs> now, if you have a near miss on the road and you suspect that you made a mistake, what do you do? You don't just go back to driving as if nothing happened, right? You do something about it. You figure out what did you do wrong and you train yourself not to do it again. Never. Now, when you make a mistake trading that costs you money, of course, you do the same thing. Go back to an environment which is more controlled, practice, make adjustments, and come back to trading with a safer and more reliable plan for success. Okay. Now, this is what I felt I needed to share with you uh, with this short video. Uh, to all fellow potential future traders. Now, feel free to ask anything, okay? You can follow, subscribe to my YouTube channel for my daily trading sessions, as I'll be doing it now from now on. And bye for now, and we'll catch up with each one of you in the next video.